A warm welcome back to Globetrotting. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. The A350 Neo remains today as a bit of a hopeful variant that has been explored by Airbus funnily enough in a bid to elevate the overall efficiency levels of this broader widebody program. In essence, this new engine option successor to the currently active and in production A350 series would look to apply newer engines in a bid to see operating costs lowered for prospective operators and even existing ones. The variant would align with Airbus's many other successful re-engines that have unfolded in recent times. However, despite murmurs of this aircraft, it's yet to see an official release. What is the A350 NEO? Well, the term NEO, as in new engine option, has become a pretty big staple in the commercial airplanes division at Airbus over the last decade and a half. Through the persistent development of engine technologies, Airbus has looked to leverage this for the adoption across fundamental already successful programs, to basically squeeze life out of a fuselage and appease customers with a new, more efficient variant, which they can do on the cheap instead of launching a clean sheet. Despite the A350 being still a relatively new aircraft to the industry, this did not by any means stop discussions very quickly commencing regarding a Neo variant for future consideration. Following in the footsteps of the already released A320 Neo family and A330, Neo, the prospective A350 Neo would, as you'd imagine, adopt cutting edge technology through these engines to offer greater economics. While the premise sits on the engines, it would very well make sense for Airbus to also offer aerodynamic improvements, maybe refinements in the cabin, and just generally new technologies to the front of the plane in terms of the cockpit to try and elevate the experience. Furthermore, Airbus could extend all of this through those new engines, which would try and align with the goal to be more sustainable, not just for them as a fundamental plane maker, but also because it's such an important thing for airlines now to achieve. The idea of an A350 Neo emerged at a point when its predecessors, the likes of the A350-900 and the A350-1000, had actually only just begun to thrive within the industry, and that's where this Neo project really is set apart from the previous ones. Normally, an aircraft will enter service, it'll enjoy its time in the sun for maybe a couple of decades, and then there'll be some discussion on, say, a new variant. In this case, it was pretty much right off the bat. In 2019, Aviation Week reported that Airbus was in the early stages of looking for a prospective engine supplier that would help aid it in offering a re-engined A350 aircraft. This pretty substantial report was also backed by the Air Current, who shared Airbus's intention regarding a prospective new A350 model earlier that very year. Aviation Week's reporting suggested that GE was the leading candidate for early discussions regarding a new engine for the 350. At that time, when responding to this report, Airbus basically confirmed it was always in discussions with engine manufacturers and other related suppliers to make sure the best interests of its business were at the core part of its heart. This included a wide array of topics, but those very topics were, as you would expect, to remain confidential. They were hardly going to come out and admit this was something that they were looking into. Backed by those some of the industry's most reputable reporters, discussions surrounding the 350 Neo were therefore very quickly taken to be credible. However, how strong the appetite to move ahead in the short term at that point was unclear considering this was really just the initial stages of talks. While at the point launching an A350neo would have been a little bit of an odd decision, given the 350 variant's very much youthful nature and only persistent orders continuing, the plane maker was still looking into the future and knew that this was going to be very important. Furthermore, what would occur just a mere months after the 350neo reports emerged in late 2019 would be something that would put a lot of prospective projects on hold, that being the COVID-19 pandemic. Would airlines, however, be interested in a 350 Neo? It's a pretty important question. Airlines have long sought aircraft that can find, say, an optimal balance between being cost effective for them, but also optimal in terms of their performance. It's the challenge of aircraft manufacturers to make this happen for them. An appetite for a re-engine or just general 
enhancement, however, is something that has been hot on the radar for many aircraft programs and doesn't just strictly happen at Airbus. This can extend to Boeing with the MAX and the 777X, which are all largely at their very core, re-engines with some other refinements too. However, the major difference between these aforementioned aircraft, even including the A320 and A330 series, is the space of time between the launches of the current engine option and the new engine option. The 350 Neo talk, again I'll reiterate, emerged quite frankly a matter of years after the first 350 entered service, and such was perceived to be quite early. Airlines, however, could have wanted an A350neo for several fundamental reasons, one of those being efficiency. With prices continuing to fluctuate in terms of flying, airlines have to find a way to lower costs and become more efficient. An A350neo with more modern engines would have been that very answer they were looking for. Moreover, other operating refinements could have looked to allow a more seamless operation for airline customers of the 350, who if they already had the a 350-900, well, maybe they wanted to enhance their business further. But again, just how much could actually advance in such the short space of time that the initial A350 came out and now we're talking a new engine option. So while these factors are definitely worth mentioning, equally it must be said that the 350 is a young aircraft, still now in the mid-2020s, which is some five years after the 350neo emerged. It is still being ordered and trust me, still being delivered, and this will continue into the 2030s. So as a result, Airbus moving ahead with an A350neo would have almost negated a lot of the airline's purpose for the 900 and the 1000 and probably added a fair bit of complexities to the broader program if even released now by the mid-2020s. Despite the potential benefits, Airbus has not committed to developing the A350neo as of yet and there are several key factors as to why this has unfolded. Firstly, the 350 program remains very successful, with a strong order backlog that is only continuing to grow by the day. The aircraft already offers tons of efficiency over its predecessors, and even offers airlines what they require for their day-to-day -day operation. The need to develop a new variant to, say, combat the inefficiencies of an aging A350 isn't there, and feedback on the 350 from your airline operators has largely been positive, that Airbus is making all the right decisions with this plane. Additionally, developing an A350neo would result in a lot of resources being required. While this could very well be an aircraft possible in the future, for now, those resources can be better spent on developing the A350 program further. What I mean by that is development can be seen through the A350-1000 ULR for Project Sunrise and also the announced A350F, which will complement existing variants and showcase really the unrealized potential that this family still has. While it is impossible to predict what aircraft Airbus will launch in the future, they don't even really know themselves, speculation continues to occur within our industry and the A350neo will remain a talking point. Based on on Airbus's appetite in 2019 to explore re-engining the A350 in a Neo variant, it could very well be something they revisit later down the line. However, there'll fundamentally be factors to consider when the time comes. Airbus will need to conduct a feasibility study for the variant, understand the prospects for a Neo, and whether by the time the need for a new engine option of this widebody comes around, is there maybe room for a clean sheet thanks to the ongoing studies now that would be more beneficial for the business. The next commercial airliner that is released will need to be more sustainable than ever, and will likely fly into the 2060s. Airbus may very well feel that while an A350neo could be a short-term solution, if technology continues advancing at such a rapid rate, there might be something better for the next direction for it to head into. That's going to conclude today's analysis on that prospective A350neo, and what remains today so incredibly fascinating is this was an aircraft that was reportedly being studied, or at the very least discussed, and I'm sure there is so much more of this discussion that takes place at aircraft manufacturers that doesn't necessarily make it into the public view, but to happen so quickly after the initial A350 base model launch well it's fascinating and i'd love to hear your take down below in the comments thanks for tuning into another video here on globe trotting take care be safe and i'll see you in a couple of days for your latest industry analysis and